ready for a road trip? Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Todd and this is Deborah. Hello. So uh, you're probably wondering where we're headed. Um, we're going to the Carrizo National Plains Monument or something along that effect. Uh, it's over a 250,000 acre uh, area that uh, was actually uh, put into law by, uh, believe it or not, President Clinton, if you're a Clinton fan. Um, it's one of the few places in California you can see actual how California would have looked, Southern California would have looked before uh, before humans developed the area. Um, particularly today we're going because of the super bloom that we've heard so much about. Um, we've been getting a lot of rain this year. Wildflowers. Uh, there's, yeah, there's just wildflowers and uh, it's going to be pretty spectacular. So it's kind of cloudy, um, a little partly cloudy here where we're driving, but um, I think it'll be all right. Um, but we got a special treat because our uh, the meatloaf that we barbecued on the Traeger is great for leftovers. So we actually cut a few pieces up and we're going to grill them up uh, once we get to our destination and have a little lunch. So uh, we'll meet you on the other side. This wasn't what we planned on. Oh, huh, baby. <laughs> Batch. Quick, uh, quick pit stop for the dog. So, we just got off uh, off the uh, the state route, and we're on Soto Lake Road. Um, still on the way to Carrizo National Monument, Carrizo Plain, Grasslands. Um, wanted to show you this little feature. What you're looking at is the actual San Andreas Fault. Uh, a lot of people have heard about the San Andreas Fault, but not a lot of people have seen it. 
but uh, but this is it. I wonder what's living in there. At any rate, I uh, thought it's kind of interesting. It's a soda pond of some kind. I think it's got some kind of salt. Uh, you know, Google it, you can find out. But basically, um, it's water that's uh, trapped uh, due to the fissures, uh, the, the two, uh, you know, tectonic plates and all that stuff. So, anyway, I'm not a science teacher, but uh, read all about it. Google it, San Andreas Fault. expect this uh, it's got a little bit of rain in uh, Central California I think it's kind of cool but uh, I just think so, I think it makes it that much more interesting Thank you. Hey, hi Papa what's the matter my baby what's the matter you cannot see come here baby come on So there's a lot of abandoned uh, areas uh, on the plains here, but uh, this one looks like it's occupied. This is a Traver Ranch. I'm not sure uh, we're gonna f find good enough weather to uh, make our uh, barbecue meatloaf sandwich. You like my uh, southern accent? So I got uh, still, still. I got my hat on. So <laughs> it's a so, still rain. Yeah, we're it's rain here in California, and uh, you you bet we get rain once in a while. Duh. <laughs> Partner. Continuing on our uh, drive on Soda Lake Road, and uh, looks like we came up to a little accident. They're uh, waving us on, so looks like they're okay. So the moral of that story is uh, know how to drive on a dirt road. And not um, drive like a maniac. Yeah. So I think we found the ultimate tailgate spot. So we're just off of uh, Seven Mile Road, um, near the 58, uh, west of Taft, probably about an hour or so. So what we got here is the leftover meatloaf, and uh, if you're interested, uh, go ahead and uh, tap that card there, and uh, if you want the uh, recipe to the meatloaf that we made, it's really delicious. As everybody knows, meatloaf is sometimes better the second time, third time. Uh, when you cook it, it makes great sandwiches for two or three days after you make it. So we packed it up, brought out our little portable uh, grill, and we're going to fry a couple up sandwiches. So we got here is a little charbroil, a uh, little portable gas grill. So these warm up. Mm -hmm. 
Rematch. <laughs> That's gonna be a big fucking tower. So it's a little sprinkly out here, but that's okay. Um, mm. No, it's raining. Yeah, it's just raining. So it makes the food taste that much better. Oh, that doesn't seem like mine. Of course not. He's like, oh, get me out of here. So as far as I'm concerned, this is real tailgating right here. You want to put him in the truck? I think he likes this. So who needs a camper when we got a uh, tonneau cover and uh, carpet? I need windshield wipers for my glasses. Yeah. Thank you, God, for the rain, but seriously? It's kind of one for one time. Okay, it's raining. Let me get my umbrella. So not the most desirable day to be out here. I checked the forecast. This stuff was supposed to be blowing out by 10 or 11 and uh, we got drizzle out here. But uh, <laughs> as you can see, we picked a pretty remote place. Stay in there, honey. Dad. It's raining, honey. Again, this is a... Uh, a uh, grassland it's a uh, national monument and uh, it's, it's pretty remote I'd say uh, outside of going into the desert or the Sierras is probably the next best thing to being as remote as you can get in uh, California it's one of the best kept secrets of California a lot of people born and raised here probably live their entire life without realizing that there's a, uh, a national monument here that's a national grassland it really resembles the way California once looked hundreds of years ago before man came in. Uh, the, soul, the whole San Joaquin Valley at one time uh, looked like this uh, before they started putting farms in. Um, we're hitting the super bloom just at the beginning and uh, there's a little bit of sun peeking out here and there. And I'm hoping that, that the, before we leave here and eat our delicious meatloaf sandwiches that uh, We'll get a chance to see more of this in the sunlight. Smell good, babe. All right, we're looking good. Oh yeah, I can. It's warming up. To, uh, this is gonna make a monster sandwich. <laughs> Go pick those are. Yeah. So the, again, if you want to see the recipe for for that meatloaf, uh, I got we got another video. Um, Go ahead and go check it out. We got the full recipe here. We're gonna do this and then we're gonna go eat inside and it's freaking cold. Yeah. It's cold and it's raining and this is roughing it Cali style right here. This ain't roughing it. We got a truck. <laughs> well, hold on to my sandwich or it'll freaking disappear. Alright. My meat my So what we did is we lightly grilled the um, mm. bread on the charbroil and maybe put a little cheese. Oh, here. Um, God, you're so fucking comfy. Cheese on there. Mm. Mm. You want to taste this? It tastes good. Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah, put that other piece on yours. Mm. Okay. It's ready? Yeah. Oh. Which one you want? This one's a big one. Yeah, it's ready. Right enough for me. I'm hungry. Do I leave yours on? Uh, yep, go ahead. Damn! Look at this beast. Woo! Alright. <laughs> a big ass sandwich, honey. Okay, here's Todd going in for the kale. Alright. Oh man. Go. Well, it's kind of wet, but. Mmm. All right, success. Uh, 
All right. Woo! I tell you. Holy Not shit. a good day for a picnic. Fuck, I feel like a wet rat. <sighs> this is cool though. I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if we... At least, All right. at least I had well, proper <coughs> gear. I was just expecting the rain. So we're going to enjoy our, our picnic now. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, definitely... Uh, like share mm. comment down below of uh mm. maybe what kind of weather you guys prefer to uh I mean, barbecue in. In. so anyway take care deb says i'm not paying attention to the road uh, excuse me before pig <clears throat> oh, my hair's all fucked up Oh, dip. Oh, not paying attention. I don't got my cowboy hat. How's it going? As everybody knows, meatloaf is better sometimes the second oh, or third time. And, uh. What are you doing? Take a picture of you, so? B roll. It's fucking raining, goddammit.